Good morning world! Well, it is day six of my vacation. Didn't go to the gym today. I went yesterday. I find I'm going every other day. Um, mainly due to my right ankle. Like I said, it is becoming very sore to walk on. Um, um, when I stand up, you know, it's you know caused me a great deal of pain. And I don't know if it's my size. I don't know if I twisted it. I don't know what happened, but it is not happy. <laughs> so I'll try to go again tomorrow and you know maybe I'll go every other day until uh, it resolves itself I'm uh, seeing my doctor in August maybe she'll have some pointers tips or whatever I can use to you know stop that from happening anywho um, so yesterday we what did we do yesterday what did we do yesterday well uh, they went to the library and then they went to Zumba. But then when they came back, we ended up watching some cut TV together, eating a good supper, and just, you know, chilling out. Today, they're going to the library again. They're already there. Um, my eldest daughter is a volunteer there and she loves the library. I believe I said that yesterday. And so they're volu she's volunteering there again. Um, we were going to go to the lake tonight, but the weather doesn't look like it wants to cooperate. It uh, is very cloudy. It's only plus 21, so it'll be kind of a cool, not not lake day material. So the wife is going to do the grocery shopping tonight um, instead of tomorrow night, and hopefully we can get to the lake tomorrow night because Cassandra and Eleanor both love the lake. So we're hoping, you know, fingers crossed. <laughs> um, yesterday I said I mentioned where I got Little Shane from. Um, it's not something I pulled out of my butt. It's uh, been with me since birth. Um, both my parents were very young when they had me. I know I talked about that. My mom was either 16 or 17, and my father was either 18 or 19. I can't remember the exact details because, you know, when I was born, they didn't, they didn't tell me when I was born. They didn't, like, when I came out, they didn't say, hey, I'm 16, and hey, I'm 18. So, <laughs> so, um, that being said, uh, my father's name is Shane Douglas Halfyard, and my name is Shane Douglas Amol Halfyard. A little little side story. It's supposed to be Amol, E-M-I-L-E, -E, which is a German name after my great grandfather, to whom I've never met. Uh, it was my mother's idea to give me my great grandfather's name. I don't even think she met him. I think they had some letters back and forth, but that's about it. Um, but something got misspelled, and it's actually Emil, E-M-I-L. <laughs> so. Yeah, I could bother to fix it, but I just, it's not important enough for me to bother, so, you know, I don't care. <laughs> but they didn't want a junior, right? They didn't want anyone calling me junior. They didn't want to call me Shane Junior, uh, whatever. So they just started calling me Little Shane. And that followed me my whole life, you know, to a point that some of my teachers were calling me Little Shane. Um, and, you know, it, depends on what stage of my life when I was very 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 young it bothered me um, because you know when you're four or five you don't want to be called little anything right you're you know you're tough you're a man at four or five years old Jeez. <laughs> and then in junior high I didn't care and then in high school I kind of came back and bothered me but by university it, it just became little Shane and that's it um, now it's kind of an ironic joke because you see I am about five feet eleven and three quarters of an inch tall, so I just say six feet because you know, come on, give me that quarter of an inch. And my father is about five four, I think. Yeah, either five four or five five. But anyway, he's always I think he's five foot four and a half, but he always has to add that half in there. And he's a very small-ish man, so you know after a while. You know, he'd be called Big Shane, I'd be called Little Shane, there'd be little, you know, private little chuckles and stuff like that because, you know, it's obviously not, not that way. Because <laughs> um, like, I remember when I was 15, I was about two inches taller than him and I probably about 25 pounds heavier than him. Because, well, my parents got me, my dad got me a weight set, or gave me a weight set, I think it was his old one, when I was 12. So up until about when I was 32 years old I was weight training from 12 to 32 so if anybody out there tells you that that stunts your kids growth 
they're misinformed uh, because it's it doesn't. Um, as long as you're teaching your kid proper uh, weight training etiquette, they do the research, they do it properly. You know the skills, how to how to lift, how to sit down, how to manage the weight, what to eat. You can start exercising at any age, and you can start weight training at any age. You just do it safely, and that's what I did. And you know, I didn't shrink any. So there we go. But uh, yeah, so I had my first weight set at 12, and then I think at like, I think I was 16, and my parents got me a universal weight set um, that had about 250 pounds on it, and that was awesome. So you know, that was a good day for me. So they got me that for Christmas, and so that was that was a sweet Christmas. So yeah, so I've been weight training all my life, and I stopped 10 years ago mainly because of work and other issues, and that's why I'm going to get back into it once I drop a, about 50 pounds, hopefully. <laughs> nah, I'm not setting a weight goal, I'm setting an endurance goal. Uh, once I can walk on the treadmill for a half an hour, for, or for an hour, sorry, once I can walk on the treadmill for an hour, I will um, start weight training. And I don't mean as soon as I get my first time getting an hour, I mean comfortably, so for about a month, and then I'll start weight training. And that's just because I'm trying to build up my heart strength and I'm trying to build up my lung strength before I start trying to add on to it, um, add on to any other exercises. It's just my way of going about it. You may have your way, however you want to do it, so long as it's safe and you're, and you're okay. Hey, it's up to you. But yeah, so that's the story about how I was called Little Shane. You know, like I said, it was just, they didn't want to be Junior. They, they, in fact, they would get adamant about people calling me Junior. Um, my grandmother on my dad's side, she called me junior a couple times, and my dad was like, no, he's not a junior. And, you know, even though I think technically I am. So, yeah, so like I said, my parents gave me that nickname, and it just sort of followed me around. Which I'm glad. I'm glad that nickname followed me around, because my father had a pet nickname for me. And you know how most fathers, they'll call their sons like Tiger, or Champ, or Sport, or like, you know, Anything else that's kind of cool, like Scout or, or or whatever, anything. I don't know. Whatever your father nicknamed you is probably way cooler than what my father went around calling me. My father went around calling me Duck. Yep, Duck. Duck. So when he picked me up in front of all my friends, he'd say, "Come on, Duck, let's go." Yeah. They had a lot of fun with that. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> so anyway, I think I've embarrassed myself enough. So until tomorrow, remember, you can do it and you're worth it. Take care.